This week on Sundays with Selly, we are talking Garmin software, in particular, the latest release for April of 2025. Let's get into it, guys. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sally. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below to stay up to date and in the know, the latest happenings in the marine industry, as well as all the bitchin' projects we have going on and we are doing build videos again, documenting all the cool stuff we've got going. So make sure to hit that like at Navtronics on YouTube to stay up to date and in the know. All right, guys, that spiel's out of the way. What are we talking about? Today, we are talking Garmin's latest software. This is for spring of 2025, particularly they're calling it the April 2025 release. If you turn on your chart plotter in the lower left, it will actually say 39.01 software. So that is the version of software we are talking about here. Now, there's not a lot of major changes. There's a couple of minor changes behind the scenes with some AIS alerts letting you know when you're getting into certain areas. If they've been set up with beacons, you're going to be getting AIS alerts now on your screen, assuming you have an AIS as well, obviously into that mix. And let's see, what are some of the other things here that I've got on this? Oh yeah, we're going to be doing a evolution of nav aids, it says here. Uh, basically, we're gonna be changing the shapes on those to be a better representation of what you are going to see out there. So instead of just the little flags on it for the red and the green, we now have squares and triangles. So when you're looking at the chart, it helps you reference exactly what it is you're looking for. Uh, so that's happening. But another neat feature that they don't really highlight on here, and maybe it came out in version 38 and I just wasn't aware of it, but you are now able to hide some of the icons on your MFD. So if you're not using them, we get this all the time I get asked this, how do I hide these icons that I'm not using? So let's go ahead, let's chop it up here. I've got a video, we're gonna go ahead and hit play on here and get this thing rolling. And now you're gonna see this is our standard chart. We've got, you know, auto guidance on there. Now if we bring up our charts and you're gonna look over here, we have vessels slide over, gauges now have their own page. So that's everything that was on that vessels page right there is now there. And you can see all the gauges are there and you'll see that I've gone ahead and we've made a sailing one. Now, if we wanna get rid of the sailing, we do a long press and we go to hide. Now with that hide button pressed, now it says on hide on there, we back out. You see that we don't see it. And you'll see next to our settings screen, we now have this eye with a line through it, means we're hiding those items right there. We on hide it and hide it, simple long press as with everything in the Garmin world. You'll notice also when we do that, we can go into our charts page, radar, sonar, and vessel, and go ahead and hide any of the tiles in there. So if we wanna get rid of 3D uh, fisheye or 3D chart, we can go ahead and hide those icons so they're not taking up space on our screen if you're not using those things. You can see it's really easy, it's right there. You now have that icon with the eye, doesn't show up, till you have at least one of these squares, one of these tiles hidden on display here. So that's just something that I thought was really cool. We get asked a lot about hiding those things on there. Now we have the ability to hide them with a long press, which just makes it really easy to do as with everything in the Garmin world. So let me know guys, do you guys think that's a helpful tip? You guys find that useful? Leave it down below in the comments or maybe you have something else you'd like to see Garmin do. Leave it down below in the comments. We'll let Garmin know what's happening and see if we can get any of those changes for you guys. Uh, 
That's it. That's all I've got for this week, Sundays with Sully. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys again real soon. We've got project updates with Project Nelly. We've got uh, the Contender Project going on. We've got Next Level Project getting ready to start soon. So we've got a lot of content coming down the pipeline for you guys, as well as spring commissioning because they say spring is coming here in New England. We're hoping to see it soon. So uh, stay tuned, guys. And we'll see you guys real soon with something else. Peace.